Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is in Moscow today uh, seeking to speed up the signing of a new nuclear arms control treaty. She hailed the quote unquote substantial progress made in arms talks today and said that an agreement should be forthcoming soon. So for more on what to expect from Secretary Clinton's visit is Alexander Clement, our next guest. He joins me to talk about Russian politics. He's also an economist, an ec economy analyst, I should say, um, at the Eurasia Group. Alexander, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, we're seeing these headlines cross with Clinton saying a final agreement should be expected soon on Russian disarmament. Mm -hmm. It's like five months late, isn't it? Yeah. Well, better late than never, I think. Uh, this, uh, this agreement has been more than a year in the making. Uh, and I think it's a key signpost for assessing how much progress there's been in the so-called reset in U.S.-Russia ties over the past year. Um, on that score, I think we've seen some mixed results. Sure, you know, we'll have uh, an agreement probably on, on a strategic arms reduction soon. We've seen some progress on Iran, some progress on stabilizing Afghanistan. But there are still key bedrock issues of, uh, of fundamental disagreement between Washington and Moscow. Uh, particularly concerning uh, politics and uh, economic influence in the former Soviet Union, which I think will be a major roadblock going forward uh, if we're looking for more progress in the relationship. Because Iran is what I was hearing mm -hmm. is the real focal point for conversations behind mm -hmm. closed doors. They're out there talking about disarmament, mm -hmm. but really this is about the policy towards Iran trying mm -hmm. to build support for sanctions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing, uh, bringing the Russians around on Iran has been a key objective of the Obama administration, certainly. Uh, and on that score, I think we've seen some, some, some progress. Uh, for many years, the Russians were styling themselves as sort of the key uh, gatekeepers or, or sort of deal, deal makers on the Iran question. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't show a whole, lot of, a whole lot of results on that. And I think Moscow is showing frustration now with an increasingly intransigent Iran. Uh, and the Russians look like they may be coming around on some kinds of really? sanctions. The real question now is whether China's on board, I think. They're going to be the linchpin in, in any I kind think, of progress. I think the focus is shifting from 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 Russia to China as potentially the uh, the sort of key the key member on the Security Council you want to bring around. Uh, now we have also seen a great deal of activity within um, the Palestinian territories within Israel right now. The Middle East Quartet conversations are supposed to also be underway while Secretary Clinton mm -hmm. is in Russia. Has there really been a breakdown in U.S.-Israeli relations with uh, the conversations that have been had between Netanyahu and mm -hmm. Vice President Biden? Well, I think it remains to be seen whether this is, a, this is a, a sort of tempest in a teapot or a significant issue. I suspect that given the strength of Israeli-U.S. relations up until now, it's probably not that big a deal. It's, it's a relative it's change. It's a relative right. change, yeah. And, and as far as the quartet, I mean, over the years, the quartet has shown uh, meager achievements and limited leverage on the question. I wouldn't expect that to change a great deal over the next 24 hours. Now, tell me, with... Putin there in the area. He was supposed to be traveling. We'd originally heard to South America this mm -hmm. week. We're hearing he's he's not actually. Mm -hmm. He stayed there in Moscow. Mm -hmm. Anything to read into that? Well, I think the trip to Venezuela, which I think is what you what you mentioned, yes. uh, is is scheduled for early April. Um, you know, the general Russia-Venezuela relationship has gotten a lot of headlines. I think it's chiefly a symbolic thing. I mean, the Russians are uh, keen to show Washington that you know, just as Washington has interests in, in in Russia's sort of backyard, so to speak, uh, the mm -hmm. Russians want to show Washington that they have interests in the Western Hemisphere as well, uh, including with countries that are not on particularly good terms with Washington. Will uh, Hillary Clinton be meeting with Putin while she's in Russia? The last I saw was that she's supposed to meet with him with him tomorrow, and I think that's important because, uh, you know, the progress that Medvedev has made as a as sort of becoming a, a, a real leader of Russia has been limited. I mean, everyone understands that Putin is still the key decision maker in Russia, uh, and key decisions pass through him. So I think if uh, if Clinton meets with him, that's uh, that's certainly a positive sign. We'll see what comes out with it, of course. There. And we'll be watching that. We'll be watching that. And we did say, as you say, it expect some sort of agreement sometime soon on the uh, uh, nuclear front, that April 12th summit in mm -hmm. Washington. Is that going to be a deadline? They've set April as a tentative deadline, uh, and I think uh, at the moment there's still some sticking points in the agreement, but we're likely to see something get signed by, uh, by that. Before they come to Washington yep. in April. That's All the right. idea. Thank you so much, Alexander Clement. Thank you very much. Joining Pleasure. us from Eurasia Group today.